And now, fans, for our final presentation, please welcome a man who has brought seven world championships to our great city of Chicago, the chairman, Jerry Reinstorf. It's hard to believe. It seems like yesterday that Ron Schuler, who was the general manager of the White Sox, came to me and said he was going to trade Mike Cameron for Paul Konerko. And I said, who's Paul Konerko? But I found out. Paulie, your numbers are great. Your career, obviously, is, is in print. But what makes you a great person is not what you did on the field, but what you did off the field. You're a credit to your parents, to your wife, to your family, and to all White Sox fans. Your efforts in the community and the help that you've given to disadvantaged children far, far exceeds in value all the home runs that you hit. Now, we've tried very hard to come up with appropriate gifts for you, and it's very hard. It's very hard to, to, to come up with stuff that's as, it's good enough for you for the great life that you've had. But we do have a couple more things. But before we do that, we have a little something on the video board that uh, you and I will always remember. Now, before I get off the uh, podium here, the man hasn't been up here yet. I'm probably introducing him a little bit too early, but I, I got to do this because uh, I'm going to be getting out of town tomorrow, probably going back home. It's a little too cold for me here, but I got something here. Mr. Reinsdorf, Jerry, come on up here. Everybody kept asking me the last couple days what I did with that last ball, that last out. Well, it's going to this man right here because he earned it. We'll have Jerry back in just a moment. There are a few people that know what he's, the emotion that he's experiencing right now. And to the 25 guys on this team and the, and the coaching staff and Kenny and getting this ball from Paul Konerko is the most emotional moment of my life. You know, Paul, you really shouldn't have given me that ball because you deserved it a whole lot more than I did. You were the guy that powered us to that World Series championship. Having said that, though, I'm not going to give it back. <laughs> you know, it was, it was a fabulous postseason for you that year. Uh, you were the first one, and I think still the only one, to hit a one-run, two-run, three-run, and four-run home run in the same postseason. And of course, there was another really important ball in that World Series, and it was the ball that you hit for the Grand Slam home run. Well, Well, Brooks, Brooks Boyer, our senior vice president, was determined to find that ball, and he did. And we have, and, and he found it. It was owned by a gentleman named Chris Clays. We sought him out. We asked him if he would bring the ball and give it to you. He did not hesitate, and he's here now to present it to you.
That was quite a thing to turn that ball over to Paulie. I don't know if I would have been big enough to do it. Now, we're getting near the end of the party, and you know, every party has to have balloons. And if you look out in left field, underneath where it says Paul Canerco number 14, uh, we have some balloons piled up. But balloons have to be set free. And you never know when you set up a bunch of balloons what you might find underneath. So set the balloons free.